I mean, and it, it has been definitely one of those things. You just shine. Yes. You shine. Thank you. And um, you were talking about how she, your wife has walked with you. Yes. She walked with you on your travels to Iraq recently. Absolutely. Tell us about, you know, what made you decide to go over there? Uh, you know, the troops asked me for, for me. Uh, it's the youngsters. I think they you know, heard of Charlie, Charlie last name Wilson. <laughs> But they didn't really have a clue okay. about anything else. They just knew of the song Charlie Last Name Wilson. So when I got there and just opened up all of these hits, and they were like, my mama used to play that record. <laughs> <laughs> right. And some of the kids who hadn't, didn't know who I was, white kids, like, you know, soldiers never knew who I was and was just popping around there, jumping up and down, like, oh, my gosh, this is great. <laughs> so first year after I left Hawaii and got, Got ready to leave out of there. It was like, can he come back? So wow. this year was it was tour number two. Tour number two. Yes, okay. it was the first year was hot because we hear boom all day and all night. So it was kind of wow. scary. But this time, the second time I went, we was over there. Was we was in hot spots and uh, we were in uh, just about to leave uh, Baghdad, and uh, <clears throat> the band and everybody wanted to. Do a lot of e some more emailing and saying hello to their you know right. family and and I was like no we gotta go. My wife said we should get out of here. I said okay we going. Ten minutes after we left that building, a missile hit it. Wow. So we was gone ten minutes. Lucky that was a little little bit kind of close for me. Yeah, that's a little. <laughs> just tough. a little close. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, but I'm just saying ten minutes. We were in the car and down the road and going to the to the to the airfield and. Missile hit and it was like, Mr. Wilson, a missile hit that building you just left. I was like, oh my gosh. Wow. See what I'm saying? If we'd have been up in there emailing, you know what I'm right. saying? So I was just, I'm so glad that we just said, let's roll. It was like. Would you suggest that uh, all artists try to, you know, make a stop over there oh, to support the troops? They supporting us. I mean, <laughs> this is how I look at it. They, they put it all on the line. I mean, I was, I'm, I'm, I was there firsthand watching, listening, see them go out of the wire, some come back. Some, Some don't. don't. Yeah. But you get a chance to see the smiles on their face and they just be throwing their fists up and pumping and going crazy when you're on the stage. Mm -hmm. And it, that makes it all worth it. Definitely. I can yes. I can imagine. I can yeah. imagine. We're going to take a step back and go to the Gap Band. Yes. Going to hit uh, Outstanding right here on The Voice of America. Tell us a little bit about that song and the vibe <clears throat> of it. Well, there was a guy that used to live in D.C. His name is Raymond Calhoun. Okay. Okay, Raymond Calhoun came to us one time, but we was on the road, and he was like, he had this little, little drums and stuff with him. He's like, I play percussion. It's like, okay, so let me hear you play. He's playing his percussion. Okay, boom, boom, boom. So we put him in the band, high energy guy, sang good backgrounds and all that stuff. So one day he came to us, come to us, come to me with a song that was like, you know, whatever. I was like, what's that? It had a nice little boom, 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 boom. I was like, whoa. So I was sitting there with him. We vibed that thing out. And uh, was Outstanding was born. Wow. That day, he brought the song. Cool. Well, here it is. <laughs> right here on The Voice of America. <laughs> Back here with the one and only Charlie Wilson. <laughs> Woo, Gap Band Funk right there, man. Thank you, man. Gap Band Funk. When you brought, when the brothers came together to, you know, make this group, what did you envision for it? Well, we just, I just actually thought that we were just a club band because we, we, we played clubs a lot, you know. So we had the run of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and um, we had a nice following. Um, we end up going on the road with a with a with a rock and roller by the name of Leon Russell. Okay. Excuse me. And um, one day he came to he came to a club to see us perform, and um, I guess he was a little beer drunk, <laughs> and he said uh, he sent a message something that says, 
is them boys really playing like that? So they left. I was like, who's the white boys in the corner? So it's like, it's Leon Russell. I was like, wow, Leon Russell. I'm up on a tie. Why is it him? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, so he came back the next weekend and I noticed that they all was, wasn't struggly and scraggly looking and they was all sitting up straight. So they didn't have anything to drink. They wanted to see if they heard what they really heard. Right. The weekend before. Let's, let's do this sober. Let's do this sober. <laughs> <laughs> so he came in and, um, Listen to our band, he came and said, whoa, you guys are just awesome. You want to go to the studio with me? I was like, yeah, man. So we went in the studio, ended up being his backup band. Long story short, he said, he said can, we be in a, can we be a backup band? He's like, well, I already have a band. So he said, you want to come here and play tomorrow? I said, yeah, we went to go here and play in the concert. And I said, man, we, our band will kick y'all band tail. He's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, right. If you, here, learn these, these a stack of albums. If you can do this in 24 hours, whoa. then you can be my band. But he had, what he had told us one time was he said, the main thing about songs is the intros and the endings. So we took most of those songs and learned the intros and the endings. endings. <laughs> he, he, we kind of being smart about it. So he can, we said, we ready. He was like, you're not ready. I was like, you're not serious. I was like, yeah, come. So we had, we went in there, man. He was like, we got about six, or eight songs deep. He was like, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> you got the job. So we ended up being his backup band. Okay for a couple of years and uh from there we uh we kind of took off uh, but we had no a guy told me one time i don't want to call his name because he he was a kind of famous gospel singer he was like you're the king in tulsa but i'm the king in california so y'all won't be able to get very far out of there i was okay. like so what are you saying i said you mean that we won't be able to leave tulsa like he says i'm the king of the world mm. i was like really and wow. you're the only king <laughs> so i said hmm well, okay. So when he left, I was like, look, we finna knock the king off because nobody tell me I can't get out of Tulsa. I know that's you right. You see what I'm saying? So from that moment, we just, we started thinking international. Okay. So we started listening to all kinds of music. And I said, well, this is what, this is what they playing in Tulsa, but this is what they playing in DC. This is what they playing in Los Angeles. This is what they playing in New York. And so we need to get with this. So this is what we started doing. And, and as we progressed, his albums was black and I was turned gold and platinum and double platinum <laughs> and like that. And his album stayed black. <laughs> so that means he didn't go gold right. and he was not the, no king. the king. And so you can never tell me what I can or can't not do because I don't like the word no. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And when we come back from this break, we're going to talk about some of the, the tenacity that you have yes. and uh, health scare. Oof. that you recently had and uh, we'll talk about that and the research that's going on with that Thank you. right now we're gonna go into the joint you did with uh pharrell and snoop that girl that girl wow <laughs> we'll do that right here on the voice of america we do this in our sleep again you know it's hard for a player to admit that sometimes but I'ma spit that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Hey, P, give it to me one time, nephew. There's something about this girl that from around my way. Ever try to hold back your feelings? But it just won't stay. But when I finally found the words to say, I wanted to run. 